What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is Sunday morning and EA have released the new squad battles rewards. So we're going to take a look at them today and we're going to go through them and judge for ourselves whether or not these squad battles rewards are going to be worth it. So we will start at the bottom. And Bronze 3 is a community slash Eredivisie team of the season lone player. I don't, do you know what? I don't even mind that because just for playing, you get that. And uh, you can use that in friendlies forever. Um, community team of the season or Eredivisie lone player for Bronze 2 and a gold pack. Two gold packs and two lone players for Bronze 1. That's not bad. Silver 3 is a premium gold and a gold and three lone players. Holy smokes. Silver 2 is oh my god a premium gold pack a gold pack and a community slash eredivisie tots player max 89 overall untradeable so just for getting to silver two you will get yourself a team of the season pack that's really nice from ea that is silver one which is 50 percent of all players a jumbo premium gold pack a gold pack and then a 90 rated community slash eredivisie tot we're just going to call them tots from now on tots player and then gold three. So gold three is a jumbo premium gold pack, a mixed players pack, and a 90 rated tots. You would have thought that there would have been a bit a bit more of a jump between what's that? Jumbo premium gold and gold versus jumbo premium gold and mixed players. Uh, uh, I don't know if I like I, I would have felt like it was a bit better than that. Um oh my god, that's almost exactly the same. It's a jumbo premium gold, mixed players, tots, and then 2k. And then a Jumbo Premium Gold mixed players tots and then 3k. Do you know what's crazy? The difference between Silver 1 and Gold 2 is huge in terms of the population of people that get in. 50% of all players, you know, the top 50% get into Silver 1 and the top 30% get into Gold 2. But what you only actually get is a mixed players pack instead of a gold pack and 2,000 extra coins. Ah, oh, there it is. Gold 1 gives you a community and Eredivisie tots player pick. A prime mixed, a jumbo premium gold, and 3k coins. So you get a pick pack from that, which is quite nice. Elite 3 gives you a rare Electrum and a Tots player, untradeable, no limit. That's cool. Elite 2 gives you a rare Electrum, a premium gold, and a Tots player, untradeable, no limit. Elite 1 gives you two rare players packs, a Tots player, and 10k coins. That's pretty good too. And then for the top 200, how have they done it? Am I going to be grinding out the top 200 this week? You get ooh, a 50k, two mega packs, and one tops player. The top 100 down to 41 gives you a player pick, a 100k pack, two mega packs, and 65k coins. The question you have to ask yourself, right, is... To get into top top 100, you need to play all 40 games. Uh, it's 42 with the bonus two games. Is one player pick worth 42 games to start grinding? Or would you prefer to, say, get to maybe like Elite 3, which isn't like, uh, you know, out of this world difficult to get to. Maybe get there in 20 games and get that uh, untradeable no limit. Or do you go gold and get the max 90? I don't know um top so that that was 100 to 41 top 40 to 20 a one of five pick 75k coins in the packs two to 20 a one of five pick an ultimate pack and 250ks and number one gets a one of five pick oh so that they've basically just added the team in the season pick if you're a squad if you're an avid squad battles player this is brilliant and i'm a big fan of it um if you're not an avid squad battles player what I will say is this, it, it might seem like a fun prospect of uh, playing. You know, you get yourself, even if you get to like gold three, you get yourself a, a pack max 90 overall. Where's the first non-capped pack? It's elite three. To get even to elite three, you're probably looking at 12 to 15 games on legendary difficulty, maybe 18 to 22 games on world-class difficulty. You have to ask yourself, is that worth it? And if if you 
so first of all if you already play squad battles and you're like i say if you're a squad battles fan this is brilliant for you because you're just getting extra it might make it more challenging to get to the threshold that you usually get to because more people will be coming in and playing it for sure um if you're not a big fan of squad battles what i would urge you to do is to constantly mix your objectives with the squad battles and do it the most difficult you can so if you're going to be getting team of the season mario or oh, sorry mauro jr you need to play you can do it in rivals but eight squad battles games so you can go and do these eight squad battles wins you can go and work towards those squad battles rewards whilst completing him uh, i don't think at the moment there's anything else there, there might be something in here that's like specifically squad battles um but at the moment there's nothing really here right now that is specifically geared to squad battles um however overall yeah i think that's really really nice from ea and uh we'll end off today's video just opening a couple of fx packs i've got loads of the uh those are the 280 pluses so we're going to open a few of these but um yeah what do you think down below let me know guys i'm so happy even though i haven't played squad battles for a while i don't know if you guys know right but i am the cross console back to back triple uh cross platform squad battles world champion right i've got some trophies to prove it and everything uh when squad battles first got introduced geez i want to say fifa 17 was it i got top 100 fifa 17 whatever year it was uh, let's just say it was fifa 17 i got top 100 fifa 17 xbox and playstation because i'm sad um and then i did it in fifa 18 and i did it in fifa 19 and then since then fifa 20 21 22 i've only done it on playstation i've not got it on xbox i do i do like to get top 200 or slash top 100 on um the the first week or two because the packs are just so valuable at that stage of the game but overall like, i'm not personally the biggest fan of squad battles and one of the reasons why i'm not the biggest fan of squad battles is because overall the game mode is a bore fest like it is genuinely one of the most unenjoyable experiences even when you're on like world-class difficulty or legendary or some it's one year you had to play an ultimate to get top 100 it beating the ai on ultimate became so, so easy and so monotonous that it just even got boring in itself and so this is the first time since the introduction of squad battles that ea have made any changes to squad battles so that straight away is a big dub i tell you one thing that would be a massive dub and let me know if you agree down below and it's been talked about a lot since they introduced the three minute halves in the friendlies which obviously were online game modes um i think you should have an option to switch to three minute halves what what will happen with that is you might struggle to get as much done in your three minute halves as somebody who plays six minute halves can do so if you're trying to get like you know top 100 top 200 I don't think three minute halves may necessarily be enough because you might leave yourself short on getting goals it might just be a bit difficult but having the option for three minute halves in squad battles i think would be a humongous win for uh for everyone really now to end off with today i'm just gonna go i've got a, f a few like really decent packs here and i just want to go and find yeah one let's open this 83 plus attackers three pack just to end off with guys thanks for staying around it's not going to be a team of the season i do appreciate you all thank you very much for watching and i will see you later on for some 6 p.m content peace